today we're building the aeroponics tower. This is similar to the NFT system in that the little plants will sit in the little net cups and they'll go in these little pockets, but instead of the nutrient solution running past the roots and giving them everything they need that way, what's going to happen is there'll be a tube running down the middle of this that's going to spray the nutrient solution directly out of the roots. Now the main benefit of this system is that the roots are going to get a lot more oxygen than they would any other way. Plants in soil or in an NFT system like this are submersed in the nutrients that they need, which is great, but you've got to make sure the nutrient system is nice and oxygenated, which you have to do with an air stone or make sure that the nutrients are flowing nicely. When there's a lot of humidity in the atmosphere, the plants can actually get the nutrients and the water they need from the air, which is a really quick way of getting the nutrients that they want. So this one, for example, you can see is near the end of this pipe where the water's flowing quite quickly through it. And all of these roots are growing out and they're not actually growing into the water itself, they're just growing in the air. And there's enough humidity, there's enough water in the air and with enough nutrients that they can get it straight from that, which is a really, really quick way for plants to get the nutrients. So let's get started. So the tower itself, uh, it's something I saw online, and again, it's a very DIY solution, but it's basically just made of some new PVC piping. Uh, I've cut some little slits into it, and then I used a heat gun to melt it enough that I could actually you know, bend it out into the shape that I needed. And I built this little jig, which is the size of a net pop, that I could, whoop, that I could use to jimmy it into the shape that I wanted, big enough that a net cup with plants in it can sit in there, and the roots can go down the middle. Tanks in the ground, the tower's up, it's attached to the wall. It's a little bit janky at the moment, but we can fix that a little bit later. So next, time to get the tubing on the go and see if the pump works. Now for the irrigation system, I'm using this 19 millimeter tubing as well as various fixtures and fittings uh, for wherever I need them. And then down the middle of it are going to be these little spray heads and these are what are going to spray the roots with the nutrient solution. So everything's more or less together, but I've run into a few issues, mainly stemming from the fact that this sits on top of a tank, which is where I want it, because it's kind of a, an ideal position, it doesn't take up too much space, but I do need to be able to get, to get into the tank. So I had an idea of kind of building this kind of little hinge system, but it doesn't really work. It, it kind of, it's not waterproof, um, it doesn't let the kind of tube come in nicely, so I'm gonna have to rethink it a bit and get some more parts, I think, and come back to it. All right, it's day two got a new lid which I haven't had time to ruin yet and based on Rachel's idea instead of having a kind of hinge mechanism where I have to kind of lift half of it up and have kind of tubes going in and stuff like that I'm just going to cut a hole and then use this as a kind of plug that I can plug the hole with and then when I need to get to it to test the water or to fill it up or whatever I can just take the plug out and reach in and do what I need to. I've also got an elbow connector that will drain off the bottom of it probably sit around there uh, and allow it to drain nice and quickly rather than getting stuck in the hose. So, here we go again. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Going to have the plug here, cut a big hole for that, and then that can come in and out. That's going to be for the drainage, and then a little hole here where the pump comes out. So let's get cutting. Mm. 
Something else I didn't get around to yesterday was some of the electronics. Um, all I did was wire it up just so I could test if it worked in the first place, to be honest. But actually what I need to do with this, instead of it having a pump that runs the whole time, like the NFT system, it actually needs to be on a timer. Um, it's going to spray out a short burst to irrigate the system rather than the whole time, basically. And that's for a couple of reasons. One, so the roots do actually get enough oxygen and also to make sure that it doesn't flood the system <laughs> because there's quite a lot of water going to be spraying out and flowing through it. So short bursts with a timer and it's going to sit in this, which is just a kind of like outdoor electrics box, that's probably around here somewhere. <laughs> A little bit louder than I first expected. Um, pump's quite big, it's quite powerful, so that is has a little bit of noise to it. But actually, the, the most noise is coming from all the water flowing down to this little manifold here. There might be something I can do about that, which would be potentially putting some sort of material in there or something like that. Um, it also sprays out these holes quite a bit, which I did expect. Uh, once plants are in there, that probably won't be so much of an issue. The plant will be in the way and it'll absorb the nutrients but they won't always all be full. So to be honest, I can probably just tape them over to kind of get rid of the spray. Because uh, that's kind of the whole point of hydroponics is that you don't waste any water and you don't waste the nutrients. So, got to seal it and paint it and then get some plants in there. plants are in. I decided to put them straight in the neck cups and straight in the system that way you won't get any kind of detritus moving down to the tank and then blocking up all the little spray nozzles. Sealed off the tank and all the pipes. It's a bit of a messy job but I think it'll work and that way you won't get any extra rainwater in or any dirt that's going to clog up the pump. I had to actually replace the pump. Um, the original pump I got it wasn't starting up about half the time and with this system that's on a timer it's quite important that it fires up every five minutes for 10 seconds to make sure that these don't dry out. If it fails and doesn't work, these are going to dry out very, very quickly. So it's important that it works, but it seems to be okay now. See so how the plants do. Like I was saying before, with this method, by spraying the roots rather than sitting in a nutrient solution like the other hydro systems, it should get a lot of air roots, which are much more efficient at taking up the nutrients, and the plants should grow nice and big. 